genetically modified organisms are those animals which are modified using biotechnological techniques that is their gene will be modified to have a particular traits that we require so this is mainly used for our agricultural purpose either to increase productivity or to resist against certain in, uh, insect attacks uh, or having uh, to achieve characters like uh, drought resistance fire resistance like that different characteristics are there so for achieving such <coughs> traits we will use genes from other organisms in the crops and we will produce genetically modified organisms so this genetically modified organisms can be either plants or animals and the thing is that man is artificially modifying the gene structure of such animals so we have seen in the international efforts there is an effort to prevent the spread of lmo lmo is living modified organisms so these are living they don't dead matters but the genetically modified organisms can include either non living or living so it can include organisms or as such or the products from the organisms like cotton cotton is non living right so this include both living and non living and we saw in convention to biodiversity there is a protocol which will regulate the transfer of the living modified organisms so as to prevent any ill effect caused by this modification gene modification so in india in agricultural sense we have seen the introduction of the genetically modified crops the first crop was gm cotton and gm cotton was commonly known as bt cotton right so this use a gene from the bacteria bacillus thuringiensis so it is called as bt cotton bt stands for this bacterial strain and this bacterial strain and this gene incorporated in the co cotton plant will produce toxin called bt toxins and these toxins are harmful for certain insects certain pest like bollworm bollworm is is a pest attacking the cotton so when this uh, cotton is eaten by the bollworm the bollworms will die that is the purpose of including this bt gene in the cotton and it uh, generates a crepe protein in that range it is little biological we need not go into that so because of this strain it uh, the manufacturers have claimed the pest resistance and increased the productivity and gm cotton was introduced in india in 2002 and initially it was a success we saw increase in the production of cotton due to the introduction of the gm cotton but its effect didn't uh, sustain for a longer time later the cotton production started declining because more, lot of secondary pest attack has come instead of bollworms other first started attacking attacking the plants and the seed and the insecticide become very costly to the farmers and we have seen many farmer suicide who were cotton farmers in the regions where G gm cotton was introduced so uh, uh, gm cotton proved to be a disaster in terms of increasing the cotton production in india after that uh, we had gm brinja and uh, the genetic engineering appraisal committee have cleared its release who is, what is this genetic engineering appraisal committee this is the apex body to decide on these issues whether the genetically modified organism is safe for release safe for commercial release safe for environmental release safe for human health like that the different issues they have to study and give recommendation this is the apex body created under the environmental protection act so uh, they will study and uh, clear that gm brinjal is safe for release it can be released for commercial production but the government has put a moratorium on the release of the gm brinjo based on the different allegation of the anti gm activities and why they are why the people are protesting against the gm crops because they have different concerns like this will 
adversely impact the genetic diversity because if you are going for gm crops the natural crop varieties will be ignored so it will affect the crop genetic diversity and it can have indirect effects indirect effects means there may be other animals which are feeding on the insects that we are trying to control like bird worm right so their population will be affected for example birds or butterflies which are feeding on certain um, pest like that uh, indirect effects are there and there is an increased attack of the secondary pest we are able to control a particular strain of pest and other pests can come and attack the plants which prove to be disastrous and there are chances of gene contamination what is gene contamination for example we are releasing the gm cotton for production and if this gm cotton gene is crossing with a wild variety of cotton and this gene will enter the generation right further generation of the plants so it means that the future generation also having the modified gene and we don't know what is the effect of the modified gene so this is also one of the concern and these plants can have certain qualities like pesticide and herbicide tolerance tolerance means even though we are applying the herbicide and pesticide on the plants these plants can survive but other plants and other pests will die uh, for example, um, we will apply weedicides to kill the weeds. So that weedicides will kill only the unwanted plants, not this plant. So the farmers will tend to use more of these products so to protect the, their desired plants. And this can be a disaster. Right? The weeds may develop tolerance over the weedicides and super resistant weeds can evolve. Like we have, we are seeing in the drug drug resistant bacteria right so they will evolve to resist the pesticides we are using so there that is a chance of producing super weeds and this gm cross consumption can cause severe health effects we don't know what is the effect of the genes that we have modified in the human so if you are eating bm brinjal what are the health effects it will cause we don't know so these are the some of the opposition for the introduction of the GM crops. So the regulations are that we are allowed to import the GMO, GM crops, but there should be a proper labeling, proper labeling that it uses GMO. So the consumer should be aware and they can decide whether to consume the GM products or not. So the regulations for the labeling and usage. And the latest in the GM crop was the GM mustard. GM mustard is indigenously developed, developed by Indians. It is called as Dara mustard hybrid lemon. And mustard is a self-pollinating plant. Self-pollinating plant means they don't need pollination and outcrossing is very difficult. So that the productivity of the mustard plant is very less. So we are not able to create hybrids for the mustard plant because of this self-pollinating property. So the GM mustard tried to overcome that limitation. Uh, it tries to make a hybrid of mustard plant using certain genes. And the genes used uh, from some herbicide Tolerant genes are also used in this process. It is not directly intended to be herbicide, but for the selection of the desired hybrid, herbicide tolerant gene is also used. So that this GM mustard hack can be herbicide tolerant and it can cause the problems that I have discussed before. before. So this herbicide tolerant property has also attracted opposition from the environmental activities and the genetic engineering appraisal committee has cleared GM mustard also for environmental release but again government has not allowed the release of the GM mustard and supreme court also ruled, ruled against the release of the GM mustard because there is chances of illegal uh, illegal use of the different herbicide toll, uh, herbicides when it is cultivated so at present the situation is that only gm cotton is allowed for commercial release in india other gm crops are not yet allowed for commercial release and cultivation 
For Engineering Services General Studies video lectures, visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com. For Mechanical Engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com.